Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is h to the power of x plus 1 plus h to the power of x minus 1, this is equal to 100. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. This exponential equation here is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m. This exponential equation, that is a to the power of x minus 1, this is in the form of a to the power of n minus m, which we can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. Applying these two exponent properties, then here we have a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of 1, then plus 8 to the power of x divided by 8 to the power of 1, this is equal to 100. Now, 8 to the power of x is common here, so we can factor out 8 to the power of x into the parentheses. This is 8 plus 1 over 8, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 100. The next step is that we have 8 to the power of x into the parentheses. 8 is our number, so this is over 1. We have the FCM here, this is 8. 8 divided by 1, it is 8. 8 times 8, this is 64, then plus... 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 1, this is 1. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 100. So we have 8 to the power of x multiplied by 64 plus 1, this is 65, divided by 8, this is equal to 100. So let's multiply both signs by 8 over 65, this sign by 8 over 65. So we have 8 and 8 here simplifies, 65 and 65 also simplifies. So we have 8 to the power of x, this is equal to, now let's simplify here, 65 divided by 5, this is 13, then 100 divided by 5, this is the same thing as 20. So 20 times 8, this is 160 divided by 13. Now to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. We have rog a to the power of x. This is equal to rog 160 divided by 13. Now we have that rog a to the power of x. This is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. So applying this power root property of rog theme, then rog a to the power of x becomes, becomes x rog 8. This is equal to rog 160 divided by 13. So let's divide both sides by rog 8. So here we have rog 8. So let's simplify rog 8 and rog 8 here. So that we have x is equal to, this is rog 160 over 13 divided by rog 8. Now we have that rog 160 over 13, this is in the form of rog a divided by b, which we can express as rog a subtract rog b. Applying this logarithm property, then here we have x is equal to rog 160 divided by rog 8 subtract rog 13 divided by rog 8. Now the next step is that we can express 160. Now we can express 160. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 5. And we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So this means that x is equal to, this is wrong, 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 5, divided by rog, 2 to the power of 3, then subtract rog 13, divided by rog, 2 to the power of 3. Now, we have that rog 2 to the power of 5 times 5, this is in the form of rog A, multiplied by B, and this can be expressed as rog A plus rog B. Now, applying this logarithm property, then we have x here is equal to rog 2 to the power of 5 divided by 
rook 2 to the power of 3 then plus rook 5 divided by rook 2 to the power of 3 then subtract rook 13 divided by rook 2 to the power of 3 now the next step we can apply the power rule property here so that now x is equal to rook 2 to the power of 5 becomes 5 rook 2 divided by rook 2 to the power of 3 this is 3 rook 2 then plus rook 5 divided by 3 rook 2 then subtract rook 13 divided by 3 rook 2 now we have that rook 2 and rook 2 here simplifies so that we have x is equal to 5 over 3 plus 1 over 3 this is rook 5 divided by rook 2 subtract 1 over 3 this is rook 13 divided by rook 2 now rook 5 over rook 2 and rook 13 over rook 2 this is in the form of rook a divided by rook b which we can express as rock A to base B. So let's apply this logarithm property so that now x is equal to 5 over 3 plus 1 over 3. This is rock 5 to base 2. Subtract 1 over 3. This is rock 13 to base 2. Now since 1 over 3 is common here, we can factor out 1 over 3. So that now into the parentheses we have 5 plus rock 5 to base 2, then subtract rock 13 to base 2. So this is the value of x, this is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall. We have that 8 to the power of x plus 1, then plus 8 to the power of x minus 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now let's substitute the value of x here so that we have 8 to the power of 1 over 3 into the parentheses. This is 5 plus rock 5 to base 2 subtract rock 13 to base 2 plus 1 then we have plus we have 8 to the power of 1 over 3 into the parentheses this is 5 plus rock 5 to base 2 subtract rock 13 to base 2 then subtract 1 this should give us a value of 100 now we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplying by 1 over 3 into the parentheses. This is 5 plus rock 5 to base 2. Subtract rock 13 to base 2. Then sub that's plus 1. Then we had 2 to the power of 3 multiplying by 1 over 3 into the parentheses. This is 5 plus rock 5 to base 2, subtract rock 13 to base 2, subtract 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, 3 and 3 here simplifies so that we have 2 to the power of 5 plus this is rock 5 to base 2, subtract rock 13 to base 2. Then we have 3 times 1. So this is plus 3, then plus 2 to the power of, let's simplify 3 and 3 here, so that we have 5 plus rock 5 to base 2, subtract rock 13 to base 2, then we have 3 times minus 1, this is minus 3, this should give us a value of 100. The next step is that we have 2 to the power of, 5 plus 3, this is 8, plus this is rock 5 to base 2, 
subtract log 13 to base 2 then plus 2 to the power of 5 minus 3 this is 2 then plus log 5 to base 2 subtract log 13 to base 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 100 now 2 to the power of 8 plus row 5 to base 2 minus row 13 to base 2 as well as 2 to the power of 2 plus row 5 to base 2 minus row 13 to base 2 this is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m as well as a to the power of n minus m which we can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m so let's apply these two exponent properties. Now applying these two exponent properties, here we have 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2 divided by, here we have rho 2 raised to the power of rho 13 to base 2 then plus 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2 everything here divided by 2 to the power of rho 13 to base 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 100 now 2 to the power of 8 2 to the power of 8 this is 256 so we have 256 multiplied by 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2 this is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a, which essentially is supposed to give us a value of b. So this implies that 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2, this is equal to 5. And we have that 2 to the power of rho 13 to base 2, this should give us a value of 13. So let's substitute 5 and 13, so that now we have 256 multiplying by 5, divided by 13, then plus, here we have 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, multiplying by 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2, which is 5, divided by 13. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Okay? So, 256 times 5, this is equal to 1280 divided by 13 then plus 4 times 5 this is 20 over 13 this is supposed to give us a value of 100 now we have that the LCM here is 13 13 divided by 13 this is 1 times 1280 so we have 1280 then plus 13 divided by 13 this is 1 times 20 this is 20 so that now we need to have on the left hand side a value of 100 so this means that 1280 plus 20 this is equal to 1300 divided by 13 this is supposed to give us a value of 100 so 1300 divided by 13 this is 100 and therefore we have on the left hand side 100 which is equal to 100 so the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and this affirms that the value of x which essentially is equal to 1 over 3 into the parentheses 5 plus rho 5 to base 2 minus rho 13 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.